Watch out ladies, Casey's got a shorts on. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. I've got my buddy Casey up in the front here. Hello, we're doing folks. we're doing a little river float. The water's a little bit hot to be musky fishing once again here in southern Wisconsin. So we're just doing a little smallmouth float. This is the third or fourth time I've done this, I think. So uh, mostly I've been throwing top waters, but uh, and that's what we're going to start out with. But I think we're going to try a couple other different tactics because last time we did this float, I noticed some areas where there was some rocks. We might try some crankbaits. Uh, I even brought some live bait. I brought a little bit of everything. So we'll see what we can do. I'm about to run to the shoreline though, so I'll stop talking and we'll get to fishing. All right, like I said in the intro, I'm throwing a little buzz bait. Casey's got a little frog on. Um, I'm rocking mine in a little Cronarch 50 MG old school Shimano reel with a 6.2 medium power. St. Croix Avid casting rod. Let's see if we can get one of these things to hit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I saw him. Oh no, he's off. Wow, I can't catch a break. <laughs> that sucks. You had him on there for like 30 seconds. <laughs> oh man. Just not our day today. Watching the YouTube channel. <laughs> I, oh! Did you just have one? Yes. Get a bait in there. Get, there he is. Oh no! What the hell? This is just bad luck today, dude. He's not going to bite now. I know. In his mouth. Ugh. Off at the world. This sucks. There we go. There we go. Uh, yep, I finally hooked that one. <laughs> well, that's a nice tooth. That's a that's a freaking dandy. Yeah. I think I can get him. Maybe. Come here, bud. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's probably one of the better ones I've gotten. All right. Well, that's probably one of the better ones I've ever caught and pulled it out right out from underneath that tree. See how big he is. I'm gonna measure him real quick back here. He is well, right around just just short of 18. Gosh, nice fat hit on a popper. All right, Let's get him back in here. Well, after screwing up like a half dozen fish we finally got one so all right well we finally got one to stick on an old popper that literally found in grandpa's tackle box i don't know who made it i don't know how old it is but uh seems to work got us a nice one i see a lot of my leftist friends they posted you know that couple where the hell was it that oh st louis oh there's one i saw him come i saw him come right out oh gosh he came off Oh, there's another nice one. Man, I cannot catch a break. I saw him coming. I saw him come out, uh, like right there. We can see the the sun yeah. on the sand. I saw him come zipping right freaking out of that. Really? Yeah. Huh. Maybe we're getting some better water though. Yeah. Got a hook sharp. <laughs> Probably. There's one. Are you serious? Yep. 
<laughs> Just gotta hit the big black button there. Red but red light should come on. Big black button. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I hate fishing. What happened, Brian? I suck. How many times is that now? At least a half dozen. That's <laughs> not good. Not good at all. Oh man. Got him. Oh, he come off. Oh no! Ah! Dude, the bait hit the water and he came up and ate it. I feel that. But how? This is so terrible. I don't know. I'm just not destined to catch a fish today, I guess. Well, you already caught one, Dick. Let me get one. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were being jerks, so. Get them however I can get them. <laughs> it's a night crawling or jig, it's a night crawling or jig. <laughs> Heck, even then they don't want to hit it. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. There we go. It's not like he's huge. I think the bigger ones like to. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Almost went in. We started shifting away. <laughs> the bigger ones like to hit top water, but yeah, it's all right. If we got to cheat a little bit, we can cheat a little bit. You want to get on video? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Right off the edge of that tree there. Just where he should have been. Well, oh, there's an even bigger one with it. <laughs> Does it hit the black on there? You get turned on. You get turned on for you. Slide that thing forward. Come here, buddy, get over that. All right. Man, it's been rough getting these things to hit. Pinned up pretty good. Okay. Good enough that I'm afraid to grab. Come on. There we go. That's a freaking dandy. They are tucked in so tight to those trees. They don't seem to want a buzz bait. They want this popper. Casey just switched over and I've been throwing it. I think this is just another one of our 18 inchers. Yep, 18 on the nose. Another nice one though. Well, that wraps up another little river float. Sorry, we couldn't put a couple more of those fish in the boat for you. We lost a ton. And I, I, there, half the time I was so mad about it, I don't even think I stopped the camera. So um, I don't even think I got a lot of the misses. But we got a couple nice fish, and I'm going to run into shore here. 
we had a couple nice fish uh, all on top water. I, for whatever reason, the big ones seemed to like top water. I, I tried to use a little bit of live bait. I did catch a decent one on live bait. Wasn't as big as the top water ones though. But a lot of the small ones is what I think you end up with if you start fishing with live bait. So um, that top water bite definitely uh, lends towards lends itself towards catching bigger fish. So um, yeah, I don't know. This might be the last time I do this. Might not be. This is it's fun. It's quick. It's easy. It's fun. It's a way to get out fishing. So um, with that, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you on the next video.